I think uh, well, I was on uh, I was on her Tumblr, and uh, there was some there was a uh, there was a screenshot of a vote for superlatives at the high school. Have you seen this? No. And uh, the screenshot said uh, uh, it was it was a pick for a free spirit who is the freest spirit you know at the place. Mm -hmm. And the check marked had been Colleen and some guy, because you're supposed to pick a male and a female. And, uh, do, do you have anything to say? No. Okay. And uh, when I saw that, it was in the morning, and uh, I just grew this jealousy of it. And I knew it was illegitimate, but there was this jealousy that was with me for hours about her being picked for, you know, having a free spirit. <laughs> and uh, instead of me or whatever, you know, right. or or the fact that you know she was not what I saw as, as a, free a spirit. yeah, absolutely. And I think there are two types of free spirits. We have the opiate users and the mm. psychedelics. Mm. The people that are curious for something else, and there's the people that are looking for the next uh, bit of pleasure. Yeah. And both could be considered free spirited, I see how you would. Yeah. And they can mix, but I'm on one end and she's on the other. Yeah. I mean, if I had come up to you and asked if you wanted to do heroin, you would have said no. But for some reason with acid you said yes. And I feel like it would have been similar if I'd asked you to do mescaline or yeah. peyote or something. Well, I'd rather do something that doesn't make me throw off that much, but <laughs> That's true. I've never, yeah, acid's very, not very harmful to the body. Yeah, that's the last line in the summary on Wikipedia. Mm -hmm. From this, uh, on the, something like, LSD has never been found to be harmful to any bodily tissue. Yeah. Oop. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. I wish there were fewer myths about LSD. Like, um, you know, the, the, the flashback myth, mm -hmm. how like LSD can get stored in your spinal yeah, and your cord fat. and like, oh yeah, you, either yeah. in your fat or your spinal yeah, cord either and they way. will unexpectedly be released again. <laughs> it's nonsense. There's been six documented cases of it happening and all of them have been laboratory induced. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know. But it, LSD doesn't even stay in your fat cells though, because... It's completely out of your body except for bits and pieces of it that remain in your spinal cord. Completely unable to be accessed by any part of your brain, but that's beside the point. Uh, and that's why it doesn't show up on drug tests. In order for LSD to show up on a drug test, you have to be tripping when you take the drug test. And that just seems like an unlikely circumstance to me.